I don't want nobody messing with my Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't want nobody messing with my Dollar Tree. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> that's going to be how you come <laughs> I got to see this. You messing me up. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is I, Karen Deneen, back with another video. And as you can see by the title, yes, I have been back to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game on fall decor. And I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, then stay tuned. So the first items I want to show you are these Delphaniums. I simply love these flowers. I got them in this color because of... <laughs> the first item I want to show you are these Delphaniums. And I purchased them in the kind of uh, golden beige color because I thought these would be more neutral. And uh, I can't wait to use these. These would go perfect in a clear vase. Um, and even in a nice white vase. I'm going to use this as the centerpiece. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in here or on my tablescape. But look for these in a future video. The next item that I purchased were these three words. And I bought two packages. I uh, went ahead and took the uh, words out of the other package because I wanted to show them to you. This one says thankful. This one says welcome. And the last one says harvest. This would be very cute on a wreath. You can easily glue this or tie this in to your wreath. Or you can use this on your entry table by gluing it to a wood block and maybe painting it white and distressing it out. This would be very, very nice on your front table. Or the welcome sign. I could see this on your front entry table on a piece of wood that's distressed and sitting on the entry table along with your other fall decor items. And... The great thing about this is that they come three to a pack and they are very well made and a very nice size. The next items that I purchased were these two signs. This one says Harvest Blessings. And this one says Bless Our Home. You can hang these on the front door or in your kitchen or even remove the little jute rope and sit this on your countertop in your kitchen. Um, or you can add this once again to a wreath to make it part of your decor. It's endless what you can do with these signs. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with them, but these were only a buck a piece. And very, very well made. And this little ribbon here is raised from the board. So it's really, really nicely made. And I like the details of the pumpkin, um, the orange color. This one has the sunflowers. Really, really cute. You can't have fall decor without fall leaves. So I bought these fall leaf clips. This one is in a burnt orange color. I really like the details of these. And this can also be added to your wreaths. The next items that I purchased were these corns. I'm going to use these in the white tray, as you can recall, that I purchased from the Goodwill as part of my Thanksgiving tablescape. So look for a video coming soon. I also purchased this cute little pineapple um, I thought it was really cute for a dollar, so I just purchased it, and I think I'm going to put this on my shelf in my office. The last item that I purchased was this book, and it's called Flash in a Pan. It's Spice Up Your Noodles and Stir Fry. It's got different recipes on how you can make stir fry and 
uh, ramen noodles. Well, guys, that's the end of my haul. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll know the next time that I upload a video. So until next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs>